Welcome to another video. So in this video, we're going to be diagnosing and replacing the fan 2014 Chevy Sonic. So these, if you notice your air conditioner stopped working or overheating, and it's most likely your fan. This is not a hard job. So we're going to show you how to verify that it actually is a fan, not a fuse or something like that. So, at any rate, the first thing we got to do is take loose the um, water reservoir here. So, it's just two number 10s, and you don't have to take the hoses off. You can take it loose and flip it upside down on top of itself. Okay, so the next thing we got to do is unhook our plug. So, our plug is right here. It's just got this little blue thing. We pop this out, and we unplug it. Then there is a little torque screw right here. We take that out. So once we take that out, this uh, plug will flip up and we can test it. It's just much easier that way. You'll see in a second. Um, but anyway, yeah, we'll do that and move on. Okay, so now you see we got the plug uh, sitting upright so we can get our tester in there. So if you test the two terminals, two outside terminals, what we'll see is, we'll see, this is your resistance. So it's not showing a lot of resistance. It should be very low. So I'm gonna set it up and show you the new one so you can see what the difference is. Okay, so to test our new one, you see, that's basically got continuity. That's the way it's supposed to be. So this is our new one. Um, if you look at this old one, you can see the uh, the uh, resistor there. It looks like it's all kind of hot and burned up. So it shouldn't really look that way. So we definitely got a bad fan motor. Now we're going to replace it. So the first thing we got to do... Let me move this out of the way. Is we get down on this side over here, and there's number 10 bolts. There's two of them. There's one in the top here, and it's probably going to be difficult to see in the camera. We're looking upside down. It's right there. And then there's one down near the bottom, which you should be able to get to. And then the other side just has slides in it, so I can show you from the new one. So there's your holes for the bolts. Let me flip it around. And these just have like, uh, so there's a U-shaped thing that this slides down into. So we're gonna get the bolts out and then we'll work on getting this thing out of there and we'll move on from that. Okay, so we got it out of there. A couple things. One thing is if you look down in here, there's a little clip with a pointy thing on here that goes into it and there's also on the other side there's a transmission line that goes into this i believe those are power steering lines down there that just sits in there so you got to get those out before you get it out and kind of the trick is to pull out on it a little bit and slide it over and once you get it loose you know you can keep working at it and get it out it, it takes a little bit of finesse it's not doesn't come out real easy but it will come out the other thing is i think i had said these were number 10 bolts they're actually 5 16 not number 10s so we're going to shove it back in there and uh we'll see what we got okay there we go success the fan is working so I hope this video helps you all out. You know, it's a simple thing to do. It's probably five, six hundred dollar job at a shop. Uh, be sure to subscribe. We got tons of repair videos like this and what have you. But uh, at any rate, you have a good day, and thank you for watching.